life has not been the same. <laughs> It's the first vlog of 2024. Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Lisa and welcome. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button for me. Pretty, 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 pretty please. We are trying to, you know, reach some milestones and some numbers this year. Happy happy what was today happy tuesday happy tuesday it's about 8 40 i've got 20 30 odd minutes before i actually have to leave the house so today is a maintenance day i'm going to get a pedicure and i'm going to get my nails done because they look atrocious this has been broken for like a couple of days i had to go and get this fixed at the nail shop which fa is not going to approve of yeah she's not gonna approve of that yeah so we're going to get a pedicure and i'm going to get my nail fixed all of the things that make me so bloody happy um you guys are just basically going to spend the day with me while i get on with all my maintenance and um my errands i literally just got my camera back from um curry's because my Sony vlogging camera, I have the Sony ZV-1, literally one of the most like popular vlogging cameras. Yeah, that is the one I have. But recently, I don't know what is going on. My camera has been having some technical issues. I've literally been through so much with my vlogging camera and I've just, you know, I've been trying to keep it together and trying to hold it together for you guys because yeah i didn't want that to affect um well it did but i didn't want it to affect the consistency of my uploads and the quality of my upload the sd card slot in the camera stopped working it just said it couldn't read the sd card and i know it wasn't the sd card because i literally tried six different sd cards and none of them were working but they worked in other cameras so i bought it from curry so i took it back to curry's and i was like yeah this is not working they were like oh we're gonna have to send it off to sony for repairs but it might like take two to three weeks this was at the beginning of this month the beginning of january that is how i started my new year's with them telling me that yeah i'm not gonna have my vlog camera for two to three weeks and i was just feeling so deflated i was just like what the hell so the guy was like yeah they'll either fix it or just give you a new one if they're gonna give me a new one why don't you just give me a new one now and he was like no that's not how it works we have to wait for them to um decide whether they can fix the issue or not 
So I waited, waited, waited. And then last week, a couple of days ago, I got a call to say, oh yeah, your camera's in store. You can come and collect it. So I was like, okay, cool. That is what I'm going to do. I went to go and collect it um, two days ago, actually on Sunday. And the guy was like, oh yeah, literally the same guy who served me was like, oh yeah, they just replaced the camera, by the way. And I was like, why did I need to wait two to three weeks for them to replace the camera? So I've got a new camera, but I am a bit concerned. I upgraded to this camera, to the Sony from my Canon, because this is supposed to be one of the better vlogging cameras. So the fact that it keeps on having all of these technical issues, I don't know what's going on. And I don't know whether it's because I'm just not taking good enough care. If you do have any vlogging camera recommendations, like I said, I already have the Canon that everybody has and I have the Sony. So if you do have any other vlogging camera recommendations, please do let me know in the comments down below because I'm on the hunt to buy a new vlogging camera just so I have options. So I'm not in a place where I just cannot vlog because that would be absolutely disastrous. Just doing some, I'm not even doing makeup, just some making my face look a bit put together. I'm using my NYX brow gel in clear and then I'm using my very dirty Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. I love this mascara. I'm going to put on some fake lashes just to, you know look a bit put together my first appointment is oh this is even worse than the other one so my first appointment is at all london there's hair in my face and i'm going to get my pedicure i've been going to them for quite some time now um i went there the last time the last time I went there was end of November, beginning of December. Kind of figured out that my pedicure lasts me about two months. I feel like if I'm taking care of my... Should I put my hair up or down? I'm not sure. If I'm taking care of my nails and not just being a clumsy, heavy-handed babe, my nails can last me a month. I feel like three weeks is the and then it's like no girl you need to go get your nails did don't get me wrong i love being a girl and doing all my girly things but this year we are budgeting and we are having better financial habits and that includes especially for me that includes budgeting knowing where my money is being spent so knowing how much money i'm going to spend on my maintenance every month or every two months or whatever instead of just doing random things and just chaos all the time i feel like i just operate in chaos all the time um i'm gonna fix my frontal a bit and then i'm gonna decide whether i want my hair up or down i don't mind down but i know i'm just gonna get irritated during the day and then warm it up i'm literally just wearing all black zara top Zara trousers, I will show you in a minute. But yeah, let me hurry up, speed it up so we can get out of here and we're not late. Okay guys, I just put some lashes on. I fixed my frontal. I need to put a little bit of spray just to make it a little less white. I'm just gonna add some curls into my hair, just a little bit. Nowadays, I use my, I use my, um my straighteners to curl my hair ever since my my t3 curlers broke they broke i need to get some new ones actually because those were amazing for shoes i'm deciding between my mini platform ugg boots and my adidas are those the sambas sambas or gazelles i have a feeling it's gonna rain and I haven't, I haven't gotten the Ugg Protect spray yet, so I don't know, but I don't want to wear my, my Sambas in the rain either because they're white and like any little splashes, they're going to get dirty. The scent of the day, I'm using my Rare Wang 
princess. For my jacquards, I'm gonna wear this jacket that I got from Urban Outfitters. I love it so much. I got it in the sale and literally I could not be more pleased with a purchase. Should I take this? This will fit everything. I don't like wearing this bag with this because it's like too much going on. As ever since some wicked person stole my stole my Fendi baguette, life has not been the same. Okay, my camera stopped working. I told you guys I had to go to Curry's to give it to them for them to fix, and that was the day I lost my Fendi baguette. And I was just sitting there thinking, if my camera never stopped working, then I wouldn't have had to go. I wouldn't have had to go into curries i probably wouldn't have been robbed of my fendi baguette so this all happened at the beginning of january trying to be positive positive vibes you know 2024 new year new me all of that good jazz and my camera's broken and somebody stole one of my most prized possessions one of my favorite vintage bags ever ready to go put on my tom ford sunglasses again even though it's um absolutely dreary and miserable outside it is very dark so sunglasses are not needed but why not and i went with my fendi guy because i need to be able to fit everything inside including my camera and my fendi baguette does that no not my fendi baguette Cargos trousers are from Zara Zara sale. Um, my UGG boots, like I said, Zara black top, Urban Outfitters coat, and Fendi toiletry bag. And yes, we are on our way. Let's go. I need to find my umbrella and actually leave. <laughs> First person shoot a mold, you're turning your son to a funeral So them niggas that say they gon' office, you better be talking about working at Cuba code Yeah, them boys had a lot, but I knew the code A lot of niggas debating my numero Not the three, not the two, I'm the UNO Yeah Numero UNO, me and Jersey, this shit like the Super Bowl Man, this shit done in big as the Okay, guys Um I am currently now we're walking to all London. It's raining. Thank God I bought my umbrella. I'm really annoyed. I need to get that Ugg Protect spray, ASAP, suede spray, whatever it is. Um, so I think I'm just going to be like a couple minutes early. But I originally wanted to get an earlier train so I could go to the, wanted to get a drink a smoothie perhaps i guess being early never hurt anybody um, and i will see you guys when i get
Okay, guys, so I'm back from all London. I've got my, I got my pedicure. Absolutely love it. So um, I've been home for a bit. I just had just a quick lunch, um, just a quick nibble. And now I'm off to Avea London, AB Nails to see FA to get my nails done. But I need to put on a hoodie because, listen, Listen, it gets cold in that shop. <sighs> Use my NYX. This is the fat lip drip oil. These are so good. And they um they keep your lips moisturized as well. Not moody. Hi guys, we're at the nail shop with Epe. Hi. She's about to get rid of this monstrosity. <laughs> called we like to call them foreigners. Foreigners. I say she she was born in another country. <laughs> but um yeah, we're gonna get into the set. And guys, I wore my jumper for nothing because it's actually not cold here. So you need to let us it's cold. Yeah. <laughs> end off this vlog like I said we're doing a little haul so I'm gonna do a PR haul first and then I'm going to do a Zara sale haul I don't think I'm gonna be trying any of the pieces on it's literally 8 p.m right now like I don't feel like trying on clothes I got some PR from Maybelline so it came in this like little suitcase with their new lash sensation sky high mascara and they now come in three different colours. I've literally been seeing them all over my TikTok. And I've actually really wanted to try them. This is what the mascara looks like. So we've got Blue Mist, Burgundy Haze. What's this? Pink Air. And I think this is their normal um, black colour. And this normal... Oh! This normal black colour is one of my favourite mascaras. And then they've got their new Lifter Pump lip glosses. We've got 008 Hot Honey. This is Hot Honey. This is 003 Pink Sting. That's Pink Sting. 
yeah the light is washing that out and then the next color is 007 coco zinc so pretty so a big thank you to maybelline for sending those things out and then we've got some ren skincare Oh dear, I can't speak. They just sent me their Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. And I've been using this for like two years now. I use this every couple of days to exfoliate my skin because you want to be chemically exfoliating and physically exfoliating as well. Then we've got some Garnier. So they sent me their Brightening Vitamin C Cream Cleanser. Gently cleanses, hydrates, boosts and Low. then they sent me their vitamin c uv brightening fluid invisible 50 plus oh this is the spf it says apply twice a day gently massage onto wet skin so is this a body cleanser as well as a face cleanser if this is a body cleanser i definitely want to give this a go revolution pro and it's some skin care honey these are their supercharged skin essentials we've got the miracle cream we've got the miracle eye cream and we've got the miracle night cream this night cream packaging looks so good a big thank you to revolution pro for sending that out we've got another revolution parcel this is from revolution skin and this is their collagen range i don't want to spill everything on the floor definitely going to use this they sent me this cute little gray wash headband to put on when you're washing your face um and then they sent me the revolution skin collagen boosting overnight mask oh my god i definitely want to try that is that like a thick opaque mask mm, no it's not i don't think so then they sent me their collagen boosting serum i've got some packages from dermalogica so they sent me their pro collagen banking serum we've got a parcel from an oral care brand and they are called gem products and i love the packaging so this is the gem forever fresh premium natural mouthwash with coconut mint triple whitening toothpaste coconut mint again forever fresh breath spray in crisp mint whitening pen in coconut mint so i received a gorgeous package from juicy couture so a big thank you to juicy couture for sending your girl some really nice bits so they sent me a tracksuit juicy couture when this box came i was like you're kidding me there's no way juicy couture are actually sending me stuff this is the tina track pan and this this is in a size small so it's got the embellished gem detail juicy on the back how iconic how classic then they sent me the matching top so this is not a hoodie but more a actual jacket got the collar detail and then the big juicy zip logo which i absolutely love and then the juicy little sign here and then juicy on the back oh my god i cannot wait to wear this i have been ordering some bits on the zara sale website and ordering and wearing them but most of this stuff is stuff i'm definitely keeping already worn let's get it going i bought this gorgeous gray cargo skirt it's like a mini skirt absolutely love it so this was 9.99 and i got this in an extra large i was actually going on a date and i needed a skirt to go with the top that i was wearing so i went into zara and i found this and i was like oh my god yes this is perfect and it's 9.99 and it's definitely something i'm gonna wear again in summer imagine this with like my lambins cute little bear honey chow you are good to go and yeah just a very versatile skirt then i picked up this top i'm not gonna lie i've had my eye on this top for ages now um i'd seen it when it wasn't on sale then it went on sale so i was like oh my god yes this really gorgeous chocolate charcoal brown 
t-shirt and then it comes into a t-shirt and then it's got long sleeve sleeves on the bottom which I absolutely love. I worn it in a TikTok um, that I filmed the other day. I picked up this dress and this is the dress that I wore in my last video. My get ready with me in a striped dress. It's a long sleeve shirt up at top and then a, like a little mini wrap around skirt. It's originally $45.99 and I picked up for $15.99. I have some cargo pants which I actually wore to Pottery Pass the other day. I thought they were more of a beige colour but they're actually more of like a khaki and they're just so absolutely lovely i'm also currently wearing the black right now however i got the black in a size large instead of medium so i'm currently literally stalking the website the zara website trying to get the medium in the black i mean these fit nice but yeah i could definitely do with a medium these trousers were 7.99 each and i picked up this jumper which I also wore the other day with those cargo trousers it's an, an outfit of the day on my tiktok and it's just this really nice zip up sweater I got this in a size small and I believe this was $19.99 I'd seen this dress before actually pre the sale and I was like oh yeah it's a cute dress I'm actually going out on Sunday I might wear this it's this knit striped dress it looks like this and it's off the shoulder too this was $5.99 next thing I bought are a pair of leather trousers I'd seen them in the sale first of all on Black Friday and I missed out on them so I got them in a size 42 which is a size 14 they fit perfectly it has this little zara logo here at the back i don't particularly like that because since when did zara start having logos like was that absolutely necessary how much did i get these for i got these for 9.99 then i got this um turtleneck top so it's like a high neck rather than a turtleneck and i'd say it's like it's not a mesh material but it's definitely a bit see-through so with this top you definitely want to wear like a lacy gorgeous like mesh black bra underneath semi sheer knit sweater that's what it's called and i got it for 9.99 to put this on with these leather trousers a really gorgeous nice pair of heels and your hair all lovely and your makeup chef's kiss and you're literally good to go. Then I got this top. This is the top that I originally wanted to wear with the uh, um, cargo skirt. Oh, it's not even done up properly. It's got the hook and eye detail in the middle. So you just, you know, hook it up. You can wear this top and these trousers again with a nice pair of heels. Mwah. I got it in a size small and it was $12.99. Then I got this gorgeous top. I promise it wasn't like this when I got it. This is clearly my handiwork. Um, it's a draped tall top and it just fits so gorgeously on. Again, I'm going to insert a picture on the screen so you guys can see it. Wear it with these leather trousers and a pair of heels, literally good to go. I got it for $12.99 and it was in a size medium. Then I got some basic tops, cream ribbed top and it's got the low scoop neckline which I absolutely love and I got it in a size small. It was $5.99. I picked it up in grey. I picked it up in black that is what i wore today then i picked up this set but this set is one of the things that i'm thinking i'm thinking i'm going to return i tried it on and fair enough i was bloated but i just wasn't feeling it it didn't look good on me gray jersey top turtleneck and it's definitely a bit see-through it comes with the matching maxi skirt and this is what it looks like. And I got both in a size small. I don't think it suits me. So I think I'm going to return that. The last thing are these gorgeous brown leather boots. And I really, really just wanted a pair of boots for the winter. Didn't have a heel, but also were dressy enough for me to wear 
casually but still look put together i just didn't feel like they were worth the original price which was 70 pounds so i waited 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 and i got them in the sale and i'm so glad i did because i absolutely bloody love them they've got the buckle detail on the ankle i do need to invest in a shoe stretch my right foot is fine it's just the left foot it's just a bit too small and i want to be able to get my wear out of these boots yes that's everything for my Zara haul, for my PR haul, and that's everything for today's vlog. If you like this video and you want to see more content like this, please don't forget to go ahead and click that subscribe button. Meet me in the comments, like this video as well. I will link everything in the description box down below that needs to be linked and that I can link. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!